<laughs> Guess who it is, man? I'm back. I'm back. Like, for real, man. I'm thinking I'm back. I can't take no loss. Huh? I don't even know what it costs. Huh? I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Ooh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my. I am back. I'm happy to be back, man. I'm officially back. Did I say I was back? Welcome back. Welcome back, Justin. Welcome back to the vlogs, man. Come on. Let's jump into it, man. Today, man, we'll see how rusty I'm going to be. It's been a while. It's been a while. We got a lot to catch up on since I've been gone. Taking my little time off, much needed time off. But I couldn't wait, man. I couldn't wait to get back to it. You know, today I was like, man, I wanted something special. I was going to get dipped in my gear for the first vlog back. Got all these plans. And you know what? I was like, let's just pick up the camera and go. So I'm still dipped in like, you know, this is all my work stuff right here. You know, I'm still in work just in mode, but we're going to get to it. And we're going to talk about this Range Rover right here. We got to talk about that. That's the first vlog back. Just to catch you up to date, we still got the uh, scat. That's on the flat right now. Right there, you can see that. And we still got the, the Chrysler. So we're going to talk about the Range Rover. Then I'll hit you with a vlog. We had some scary stuff happen with the scat. Uh, me and my daughter, some unfortunate stuff. We'll talk about that. Uh, I may have an update on the Chrysler, or I should reached out to a guy just yesterday and I think we have some movement to get some things started on that. So, I mean, it's a lot, but today let's talk about the 08. I uh, appreciate all those that continue to watch. I mean, the uh, actually the Range Rover content has been getting a lot of uh, views. The joint I did talking about repairs and we're going to like talk about summarize some things today and then I'm going to do another vlog a vlog. I'm sorry, kind of detailing out kind of the expenses since like this time frame that I've been out. There's been some crazy stuff happening. Uh, I think I may even have some footage of some things that I took with my phone when it was taking place. Let's just say I've gotten it told maybe three or four times uh, and uh, it's been crazy. So without further ado, man, your boy is back. I'm so happy to be back and let's jump into today's vlog. Let's get it. All right, so here we go, man. The 2008 Range Rover Sport. I mean, it, this is that girl, man, that, you know what I mean? That gives you so much issues, but you just kind of just can't let her go, man. She just, she's that special type of person. So this is her, man. So for those watching for the first time, just tuning in, man, you can check out the channel. Be sure to, to subscribe, turn on all notification bells, man, and, and like this video for me. But th this is my girl, 2008 Range Rover Sport. You can see her for those that have been following me, my subscribers that kind of know the story uh, behind this already. This is her, I purchased this, man. It's been like over a year now. It was kind of like one of those cash car type purchases. And I've always wanted a Range Rover Sport, kind of did some research. Anyway, you can go back and watch the videos. I won't kind of summarize that. You can uh, get caught up to speed. Uh, but some things that I've had done since I last talked to you. So uh, we had a few months back, we had some pretty bad hail storm here. And you can see that if you look at previous videos, but the hail damage has pretty much been fixed. So everything has been fixed here. Uh, got that done with the claim. They did miss a spot right here. I got to take it back for. So got that done. So that was... That was pretty cool. So it's pretty much, you know, I'm a guy that I like a certain amount of perfection, <laughs> as much perfection as you're gonna get with an older vehicle like this, but it does look clean for a 2008. So some other things that we're gonna do with this vehicle. I did buy some black badging. So we have that, let me show that to you right there. So plan on getting the D badge and getting that changed out right there with the black badging. And for those that haven't seen, let me show you the inside so you can see how clean this car is like, extremely clean. So first time watching, check out your boy, follow the journey of the Range Rover. Kind of dark right now, but you can kind of see, let me show you here. It's extremely clean. I try to keep my cars as clean as possible, man. I'm just a clean car guy. Let me show you another addition that I got. So I don't even know what the official name for this is. Uh, luggage cover whatever uh and if you're watching youtube uh, you know we get everything from youtube as youtube uh, uh fans this oem from the dealership was like i believe like seven to eight hundred dollars pretty sure it was close somewhere around there uh and i was like man i don't think it's worth spending that much money just for this cover i mean just for this little piece right here that's kind of ridiculous so shout out to uh 
eBay Motors. Went online, check this out. Uh, and this was like $160. It did take uh, a while to get to me. It is not the same material, kind of not that uh, official leather type, but it still looks good. Uh, the fitment, you know, some things over here you can kind of see there. Let me uh, lighten this up so you guys can, uh, there we go. So you can see kind of the fitment is not perfect. It's not perfect, but it's decent. I mean, it's good enough for $700 uh or so or maybe 600 my math is off uh less than what the dealership would have charged me to get one of those so i got some equipment there to do all the recording that we're gonna do uh because your boy is back so that was uh that was pretty cool good come up again ebay motors uh if you're not on them already i learned about them from watching a lot of other uh, content people so yeah you can learn about ebay motors man uh, well i learned about them through watching a lot of car content uh, a lot of vlogs but that was that was a plug that i'm trying to think guys what else i've I've done, I think that's about everything else has been like pure maintenance. I haven't even had the opportunity as far as resources. I don't have unlimited money at all uh, to be able to do a lot, but it's, I spent so much money. And again, we'll go over that in another vlog on just like general maintenance type stuff that I haven't uh, had an opportunity to dive into kind of anything I wanted. Actually, let me show you the, uh, I should have it uh, back here. Here we go, got this off eBay Motors too. I talked about the, the badging. So here's a, there we go. That's the black Range Rover badger. Right there. Of course, I'm gonna change this out, put the black there, and I'm gonna debadge all of this on the side. Now this looks a little interesting because it almost looks like, I just think this is kind of fake and I think this should just come like straight off, but I don't care too much for trying to have the sport on there or this Range Rover badge. I just want to leave it straight badge. Another thing that we're gonna do is we are gonna get the calibers painted. These are much like the, the Dodge, the Scat, these are Brembro brakes. So we're gonna get those painted the Porsche yellow. And I think that'll look good with the gray. Let me know your thoughts if you think I should do something different, but uh, get that Porsche yellow and that should kind of complete the kind of look for now. I still have to get, I think it's called skid plate cover there. I don't know if you can see how that's rusted out right there. So would be a better look there. So I still need to get that replaced. That my friend is about a whopping 700 or so dollars to get that replaced. So we'll see, we'll see what we're gonna do there, man. But again, this is a, I put so much money in this joker, man, that right now it's just like, man, Justin just continue to kind of knock it out, man. Uh, I'm dealing with some issues right now. Let me start it up is the, I've had to change the alternator twice. And that's one of the two out of the three toes that I'm talking about is I've had to change this joker out twice, but still dealing with an issue. And you'll see what I'm talking about here. There we go. Check it out. You can see that the engine light still comes on. And that joker, you can see I have, uh, let me, you see the mileage on there, 169 right now. And engine light on it'll come on and then it'll go off over a few days and come back on so not really not really sure what's going on there but that's kind of the story all right everything else on the on the car is pretty pretty much cool so you know with the with the check engine light man i just decided at this point i've spent so much money into it that you know until it breaks down until it just stops running you're just gonna ride it off like i said sometimes it comes on sometimes it goes off so i really don't know what it is try not to get too much detail about the change in the alternator so i could leave that for another video but i'll tell you about twice kind of what happened with those so if you have i think a lot of people are starting to get these 08 range rovers or i've had them because my my videos have been doing really well so obviously people are searching 2008 range rover sports so i'll kind of tell you about what i do i'm not a hands-on guy wish i was uh, because most of the money that i pay has been in labor not necessarily in parts and i would have saved myself a lot of money so i just don't have the time and all of that wherewithal to to be able to kind of crank this car up in my garage all the time and do uh, work but i am looking for so i don't have to take it to uh, kind of a mechanic or automotive place all the time so i can develop a guy that I can take it to that way I can film the kind of maintenance content on this vibe for you so so like I said I'll drop some more information man uh, about the vehicles again scat scat is here I, I've left her on a flat doing her dirty so I need to uh, I need to put some air in that tire and also uh, they wouldn't let me kind of renew 
the task because it's been sitting for so long. So now I gotta now I gotta go to the actual DMV in person just to kind of get that done. So the scat has been sitting for a little over a month now because the weather has been so horrible here in Kansas City. Anyway, that's what we got, man. Kind of a little rambling vlog, a little bit. Uh, your boy's a little bit rusty. And give me about another vlog, and, and we back on it again. Excited to be back with you all, man. My community of people on YouTube. Again, thanks for subscribing. I'm just a guy that likes cars, trying to become a better guy and do all this other life stuff, man. So thanks for joining my journey. Let's get to it. Peace. I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Huh. Hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. Yeah, I don't even know what it costs. Yeah.